What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into my good sis voice. And you know, Ali Chopper fans very upset after woman. I don't know. Let's it was get... beyond upset when a video was captured of him going up to his supporters to take pictures at the BET basketball tournament. And instead of taking pictures, a woman caught him off guard by licking his face. <laughs> What's with these women? Nah, look in my face. She, oh my God. They so lucky these niggas can't hit them in the face. As saying these male celebrities, first is Michael Rainey, now NLE. Now if the roles were reversed, she would be yelling SA, shaking my head. Women need to stop doing dumb ish like that. Actually, that's SA and that's not funny. A simple kiss on the cheek won't upset most, but to lick your tongue across the man is sick. That's SA, hold that creep accountable. In my opinion, she better be lucky that situation didn't go left. Cause then man. he would have been wrong if he would have got aggressive with her. And I'm glad that he did what he did. He moved back and showed her that was not appropriate. That that's why she turned around so fast uh, and went where she went because no, she turned around because she was hoping that he wasn't going to punch her ass in the face. That's what he was hoping. That's disgusting. To lick somebody's face, bro? Like, no. She knew once she saw his face, he didn't like that shit. And I hope this video go viral so people know not to go up to any celebrity and just lick their face. People have security, which is aggressive. They don't care if you a girl or a man. And you will get popped real quick. You get yeah, what I'm saying? And like, I wonder why security uh be throwing them down and the baby be <laughs> out here throwing women to the ground. Move. Get off me. To lick me? She knew not to do it to the baby. You, he would have hit her. <laughs> you got to be careful and then you <laughs> ready nigga, to sue people I ain't gonna lie. you're the problem. She I probably wouldn't have been able to get close enough. Get but but y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Halle Bailey fans are very upset with Taraji P. Henson for not only messing up her name while at the BET Awards while giving her her flowers, but giving her her flowers for black love instead of her role in The Little Mermaid. Haley, <laughs> I love you. You have made another baby through black love yes black love is be uh. beautiful give it up for black love it's a lot of black love in here tonight and we're celebrating it uh, i guess uh voice didn't get a copyright Don't you listen to these crazy people keep that unit tight i love you <sighs> mr keith lee i know what you're thinking right now this is about a 10.9 out of a 10 I think they rushed Taraji. Like, I think this was BET's doing, and Taraji definitely gonna take the fall. Uh, oh. I got caught up in my own inner monologue. I'm so sorry. You're thinking this is a 10, a, a 10 .9 out of 10. My bad. You fine too, so call me. Give him his flower. <laughs> This part of the segment was rushed. Absolutely. Here. Yes. Um, oh, and we're done. I, I give everybody flowers, whoever else I missed. Just like Girl, BET rushed that. That's on BET, not her. Our next performer who has not missed yet. Taraji, let me get this right. Of all the things to give Halle Bailey her flowers for, we gave them, we gave her her flowers for her relationship. Gave Halle Bailey her flowers <clears throat> for her relationship because I guess Taraji wanted to celebrate black love and not the fact that she was the first black mermaid in a Disney franchise. Correction, BET wanted that, not Halle, BET. Y'all, this wasn't a, uh, not Halle, Taraji. This wasn't a Taraji thing. This was BET. And I will agree, Chrissy, nothing is wrong with black love. However, she could have gotten recognized for a lot more things, and that's a fact. Like, if DDG was sitting right there, that would have been a total different story. But this was rushed. I don't and know it shows. what this BET Awards is, but I'm, I'm just trying to hold on for Usher. Taraji feels a little off her game tonight, and I don't like that for my good sis. CJ So Cool recently did a Q&A and was asked this. Royalty did respond. She said, stop tagging me in that clown's <clears throat> video. We don't F with him and never will. Why are you and Royalty aren't able to get along for real? That's a question for her. I already done apologized in so many videos. I didn't call her personally and said, hey, let's end the beat. Let's just be cool. She don't want to be cool. She want to see me fall. And I would say it don't make no sense, but technically in this culture, it makes a lot of sense. When you break up with someone, 
They don't want to see you do good. They want to see you die. They want to see you fall off. They want to see you fail at any cost necessary. So the reason why we aren't cool is her. It's not me. I tried to squash the beef, whatever beef it was. It didn't even really exist. We didn't really have beef. We just, you know, we didn't see eye to eye no more. So I felt like I had to be a man and say, hey, it's over. Or else we would have just been dragging each other down. Now that we aren't dragging each other down, she's dragging me down. I already stopped, you know, talking about her. I don't bring her up. Hopefully this don't go viral because I really ain't trying to answer questions about her. But it ain't on me, man. If y'all really want to know why we ain't friends or collabing, it's not I was me. just about to ask y'all, did, did, did CJ gain weight or something? His face is like stupid, like fat out of his, his normal. His normal. I damn sure ain't calling him fat. I'm just saying his face looks chunky like mine. You know what I'm saying? His face never looked like that. I'm done with the beef. We don't have to, like, what? If one of royalty kids asks to live with you, if royalty kids, <laughs> if one of royalty kids asks to live, would you, what would you say? Oh, they say it was a big typo. That's why my brain was, like, all over the place with them. Uh, let's just pick one. If Leon asked me to live with me, I would say yes. Uh, I love Leon. He's a friend of mine, I can say. He's not a family member. I can't lie and say he's a family member. He's a friend of mine that I've known for more than half of his life. And me and Leon had a bond that was unbreakable. We did everything together. And honestly, I just wanted to be able to have an influence on this kid's life because I didn't have a big brother, a, a stepdad. I didn't have a father figure. So there was no one to tell me that working out was cool. There was no one to tell me not to worry about these girls. There was no one to tell me to focus on what's really important, which is making sure I'm the best I can be. I was always just just freaking doing whatever I wanted to do. I didn't have no influence. I just, so I just did anything. So when I was around Leon, I stopped him from that because kids typically choose to play games all day. I didn't let him do that. I made him get up every day, run with me. We would always run two miles at 6 a.m. I'd take him to the gym. We would work out at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I'd take him to get some lunch. Then we'd go boxing from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And it was just always a day for us both. So I would choose Leon and I would say, yes, you can come live with me. Somebody stole yeah. her salmon, bro. They done delivered her food, but stole her salmon. Now I'm about to call him and ask him, did he steal my salmon? That, that's wild. Queen always be so mad <laughs> with the, when stuff happens with Uber, but I ain't gonna lie, she gotta go get her food. <laughs> she gotta go get it. That is insane. I'm about to call. Look like the salmon was right. And he's so damn disrespectful because he should have just took the whole plate. Yeah. Jamal, did you steal my Jamar? Jamal. <laughs> Watch this. Yo. No, you didn't. The salmon had to be right there. Like, why didn't you Look touch at, anything like else? Salmon. Like a whole salmon? Like, he just like, ate the no, salmon? like, literally, I... Yo, that's... Hello? No, That bro. kid is not gonna pick up. He stole your whole salmon. I'm about to report him. I'm about to report him. You receive a call from Uber connecting you to Jamar. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Queen be snitching like hell. That's why I'm cooking at home. Uh, boy, I'm cooking at home. Do you hear me? The food industry part of this is getting real wicked. I'm so very confused. I ain't gonna lie. When I practice something for 30 days, normally it becomes like a habit. Real, really, it's like 60 days for me. I ain't even gonna lie. But it becomes like a habit. Yeah, I'm gonna be cooking every day for the next 60 days. I'm not playing. This shit is wicked out here. If he didn't answer, he stole it. Me. <clears throat> not you. No, me. Not you. This nigga done stole my salmon, bro. Get away. They done stole Queen's salmon, left everything else, and just took the salmon. Changed it. You could even see where the salmon was right there. Like, there's <laughs> He's a little so bit. Funny. Disrespect. Salmon seasoning on that rice bread. Watch this, watch this. I'm about to call. I'm about to call Sweet Green. I'm about to call and I'm about to ask him. Did, did you guys forget to buy them? You don't need to spend two hundred dollars on a Wait a minute. Zoom anymore. I am so pissed. Go ahead, make another one. All right, my delivery to freaking oh. boom down. Oh. Oh. Items damaged. I'm tipping him negative <laughs> zero dollars. Zero. I'm so pissed off, bro. Babe, are you... Are... Thanks for calling Baker. Our sport team is hard at work, but our guest...
I would absolutely be pissed. No, I don't. I just want to talk to somebody. <laughs> Girl, she hot. Listen. <laughs> I got barbacoa in the, in the slow, in the uh, crock pot right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even playing. He took your main, he took your main what? Hmm? He took your main what? He took my main meat. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered my last order was from Sweet Green and I ordered um two bowls. One was like a hot honey chicken and one was a salmon. Um I just stole my salmon. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy to say. <laughs> this nigga stole my salmon. <laughs> No, it's more than that. I've been hungry waiting on this meal for a very long time. And to see my main meat stolen, it's just heartbreaking. I'm so hurt. It's just I'm heartbreaking. Upset. I need my money back because he stole my salmon. He left me only with rice and avocado. See if they, and I see if they forgot that meat. Did they forget it? <laughs> he left me with only rice and salmon and I needed my meat. <laughs> no, no, no. Can you direct me to the restaurant to make sure that... The guy stole it because maybe the, the restaurant forgot it. Because I need, yeah, yeah and ask him did they forget my salmon? Because if not, then the guy stole it. Jamar. Okay. <laughs> y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.